Welcome back to Art Making with Mei Mei. If you haven't met me before, my name is... Um... Thank you for watching the last episode that I posted. It's so beautiful to see um, you guys all trying the activities at home. Um, I have received a lot of beautiful artworks last two weeks um, from my email. So I wanted to showcase some of the examples here. It's so beautiful to see that everyone's different concept of grace. And it's also so beautiful to see that you are using automatic drawing as a technique to express your emotions and feelings. Today, we're going to talk about a new artist and a new concept. And together, we're going to combine them both and make some art. So today, um, the artist we are going to talk about is the very famous French painter, Henri Matisse. So obviously, Henri Matisse is famous for his use of colors. Um, he used his brushes really well in painting. Um, but today, we're going to talk about one technique that he used when he was um, a bit older, um, towards the end of his career and that is drawing with scissors. For the first activity, you will need a pair of scissors, some glue and colored paper. You can make um, colored paper um, with acrylic paint or colored pencil or, or your pastels. Um, just make sure that you dry them before you use them. But of course, you can also make uh, this collage out of ready-made colored paper. I am trying to make a bird uh, I'm just cutting out some shapes um, with a pair of scissors free-handedly. Don't worry about how accurate or uh, smooth the shape uh, that you're cutting. Um, be free about it. Um, it's beautiful when it's kind of wonky and abstract. Try to play with proportions um, using big shapes and small shapes. Here are some other examples that I made. This collage is based on uh, one of my favorite paintings by Paulo Picasso uh, called uh, Yellow Belt. And this is just a simple collage that I made um, based on the favorite fruits that I have. This week's concept is faith. I love the story uh, where in the Bible when a sick boy's father brought the boy to Jesus for Jesus to heal and the disciples could not help the boy. Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible for one who believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help me with my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. I want to share this story uh, with you guys because I think that faith, um, it's actually given us by God by, through the Holy Spirit. Um, and you might want to say that oh, tomorrow I'm going to be faithful, I'm going to trust Jesus 100%. But tomorrow you're going to wake up and you're going to see there are moments of doubt throughout the day. Um, but do not be worried. Um, what you can do is cry out to God and pray to Jesus. Uh, ask Him to give you faith. Like the father of the sick boy, he reached out to Jesus and said that, help me with my unbelief. I want you to be constantly praying for uh, the faith of your family, the faith of yourself in this crisis, and ask God to give you and your family faith. I would love to pray for you. So um, I yeah, would love to, you to close your eyes and join me in, in praying. Dearly Father, Lord, um, I thank you that we can talk to you. Thank you that you are a powerful God who is in control of the entire earth, Lord. Yet you hear our prayers, Lord, small or big, Jesus. Uh, I pray, God, that you will be able to give us faith in this season, Lord. Allow us to trust you, Lord, completely, Lord. Lord, I, I pray that we'll be able to trust you like um, Abraham, Lord. Lord, I pray that we'll be able to trust you like David and Paul, Lord. God, we are experiencing a hard season right now, God. 
Uh, so I pray that you will be able to reveal yourself to us, Lord, in our daily life so that we will be able to trust you, your goodness, Lord, and your almighty power, God. I pray these things, Lord, in your holy, precious name, God. Amen. Okay, let's move on to our next activity, um, using the technique of collage to articulate the concept of faith. One of my favorite verse, which I used for my wedding, it's Matthew 7, verse 24 to 25. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. So I'm going to make a, a collage based on this um, theme of faith. So first of all, I'm going to uh, make some colored paper. I've made this paper with acrylic paint and dry them in the sun until they're completely dried. Then I'm going to cut out um, a piece of rock from the brown paper. After that, I'm going to make a house sitting on top of this rock. And here I'm trying to cut out some blue strips out of the blue paper to add the storm into this canvas. This storm is very visible and strong, but um, it will not touch the house. Uh, because of its solar foundation, the house hasn't been destroyed through the storm. The final step is um, a really fun one. You will need uh, some gold leaf and some special glue. I'm going to add some gold marks onto the rock and also onto the house. This symbolizes um, that God has great power and that uh, we can trust Him. Hope you had fun with me um, making art and talking about the concept of faith. I would love to see what you are creating this week. Please send your artworks to my email. If you want to share this video with your family members or church members who has children and wanting to do some art at home, um, please do so. I will see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>